Hey everybody, Mark Spectre Comics, and I'm back. This time, I bought a small comic collection. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when, when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So I just got back from vacation. That's why I haven't really seen any content on the channel in about a couple of weeks. But I um, just got back from Portugal, had a great time. Did not go to any comic shops in uh, Portugal. It just didn't, didn't work out in the schedule. There was one shop that I was trying to go to. It was in Porto, but... Um, Timing did just not work out. Our flights got rescheduled and it, we ended up losing a day there. So uh, to find out there was not a lot of comic shops in Portugal, surprisingly. But um, but that was that. So I'm back here. Um, right before I ended up going on vacation, I was uh, just reading the papers like I usually do to the, you know, the local newspapers. They put out ads and stuff like that for yard sales. And um, ended up so being that one of the listings said comics in a yard sale, which you usually don't ever see, at least not in these parts. But um, so I ended up going with my son early in the morning and uh, there was a guy there that had uh, a bunch of comic books, some toys, you know, probably from his childhood and stuff like that. And um, he had the comic books listed at 50 cents a piece and or like a separate stack for a dollar a piece. So I started going through them just about all moderns and uh that was like all right there's some cool stuff here for 50 cents maybe you know maybe i can pick up the whole thing from him so i started talking to him and uh we ended up working a deal uh, i'm gonna show you the uh some of the books this is a lot of books so i got two long boxes and then a small you know separate stack that came with it that he threw in and uh tell them how your wife felt about it look at that and um and then ended up working out a deal and I'll talk about that afterwards. And my son ended up, you know, going through with some of the toy bins and he ended up getting like a small pack of like uh, the Incredibles, like you're probably familiar with the show. So I uh, came with a bunch of toys and stuff like that with the Incredibles and uh, basically did a little package deal and ended up coming home with two long boxes. And like I said, a small stack of comics, um, did a little bit of tallying already. A little bit of work before I even made this video. Uh, right around 850 to 860 comic books, roughly. You know, a few here and there um, within these two long boxes. So these were jam-packed in there like little sardines. Um, maybe about, I want to say, 15 to 20 books were bag and board so uh, as you could tell you can put a lot in there when they're not bag and board this guy uh, mainly read marvel in dc and uh, he was a reader not really a collector um so you got a lot of runs in here so uh when i brought the books home obviously my wife was not happy um because i talked a lot about like downsizing the collection and that is the intent and um these books are all going to be with the intent to sell um so hopefully I did okay. So uh, enough talking. Let's go to some of the books. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, show first the side stack that he threw in. And, um, you know, for example, like I said, he was a big reader. So a lot of runs. He liked um, a lot of X-Men from what I was looking at. So, uh, for example, the uh, one of the more recent X-Factor runs. This is from uh, 20, I think 2020. Um, when, uh, Williams was writing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, X-Men, uh, sorry, X-Factor one, two, you know, three was missing issue four, um, six, seven, eight, and then nine. And then that 10, which was the, um, a minor key. This was the uh, death of Scarlet Witch. So a near complete run of X Factor and, uh, you know, considering these books were all, you know, stacked in there, like I said, this is the side stack. Um, they were in fairly good condition. You know, they got the typical, you know, corner, you know, stacking issue that you usually get when you get a bunch of books stacked on each other. But um, 
Other than that, not too bad. Show you some more. Like I said, he loved X-Men. You got a nice, I, I heard a decent start, you know, about this run. Children of the Atom. So, um, short, short series, all six issues. So, not bad. You guys like uh, Cable. So, um, he had a complete run, I want to say, of Cable. This was the Cable Reloaded with uh, Al Ewing. All um, 12 issues in there. So, if you guys like, you know, to read complete runs, uh, definitely worth checking this out because um, I'm going to be either, you know, selling this on eBay or if you guys are interested in this, you can just message me on Instagram. An entire run of Hellions. This is all on that side stack. Issues, uh, I want to say all of them, right? Oh, sorry. Nope, I lied. It's This one's miss missing uh, issues five and six. But outside of that, through 18. So I'm just missing two issues. So that was from the side stack. Now I'm going to, you know, flip the camera over so you can see some of the books I pull out from the, uh, the long boxes. So as you can see here, two really tightly packed long boxes. I'm just going to uh, take out a little stack here just so I can show you. All right. Some Iron Man. Look at this. A lot of these sequential order Iron Man. Not too bad. I uh, might be looking at this backwards, but let's just, um, go. there is some other, you know, older stuff. You could tell right here that this is an older one right here. Let's just see what it is just offhand. All right. Random stuff. So there you go. 35 center defenders issue 56. Here's a lower grade 112. I believe this is a key. This Power Princess, I think it was. I'm not sure. Um, Defenders 120. There you go. There's not many older stuff in here. Most, I want to say 98% is modern. What's this here? It's one of the few bagged and boarded. Oh, cool. Okay. This is Homage Studios Swimsuit Special, number one. I believe this is uh, J. Scott Campbell's first interior work. That's pretty cool. Um, put that over here aside. What we got here? This looks like a thicker book. This is, I think, the third volume of Avengers. This is issue 48. I think this had to do with the Kang, Kang Dynasty, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, nothing big, no big, big keys or anything like that. All modern stuff. I asked him if he had some, um, uh, you know, other stuff he was willing to sell. He was saying that the PC stuff, like the other stuff was in the, um, what he was keeping. So this is a lower grade Marvel 2-1, annual number five. That's pretty cool. Um, let me turn this around, because I think this short bo uh, long box is, uh, like I said, inverted. All right, some Spider-Man. What we got here? Some Thor. Oh, what's this? There you go. I'm sure you guys will like that. Giant size Spider-Man and the Punisher, issue number four. Lower grade. <laughs> it looks like he's it was colored at some point. <laughs> That'll probably just be a throw-in. Um, some newer stuff here. There you go. Classic cover swipe. I see some secret invasion. That's pretty cool. I believe that's the entire. Yep. We all seen this book before. So is this the whole run? Oh, we got a variant. Yep, two. Seven. Eight. Yep, entire run of Secret Invasion. Now let's go to the other one, because I think um, this was more of... I want to say the DC stuff. 
Just so you guys have an idea. Nope, some more X-Men there. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. For your DC guys. Some Justice League metal. There you go, as you can see here. All sequential. Look at that. You got the um, uh, the Justice League Endless Winter story. This looks like a complete set. You got one, part two, part three, four, uh, five, six, seven. I'm pretty sure eight is in there. Yep, part eight. So that I believe is the entire run. Uh, maybe part nine i don't know was not a big reader of that of that run but um there's some some cool stuff in here let's take a look impossible man what is that oh there you go dr doom cover cool lower grade but like i said he wasn't charging much of and he was charging 50 cents for these books the cool thing i did find i want to be honest i did not know anything about these were these combi packs so i'll pull out i believe this is batman volume two um so they came out with the obviously the cover a's which these are the cover a's but they also came out with something called the combo packs and uh, this is pretty cool. This is embossed um, for this particular issue. But I had not not heard about these combo packs. Um, he collected, for some particular reason, the combo packs. That's a pretty dope cover right there. I like that one a lot. That's pretty cool. Uh, but they're all, you know, Greg Capullo covers, I believe. And the cool thing is it came with this digital copy inside. Um, so, you, you know very hard to find for a modern book um because from what i read on key collector i'm not sure how accurate this is but there were only about one to five percent of the distribution of this copy of the issue so there were a ton of these this is pretty cool another embossed cover um he had this all sequential all these combo packs so pretty cool and they're in fairly good condition. You know, you got that typical, you know, spine stacking issue that you get from having, as you can see, these books. It's the way they are. But, um, yeah, that was, you know, some other, one of the few of like the 15 or so books that are actually bagged and board. Nothing really crazy. I don't know why of all the uh, books in here you'd want to bag XO Man of War, but uh, he did for some reason. Secret Weapons, number two. Some Valiant stuff, like I said, I've never heard of any of this stuff. But um, some Batman and Robin. Most of these are, like I said, complete runs. Sorry about these, uh, not the best recording i'm doing right now but i'm just like kind of you know go through some of the books just to show you um so yeah all right i'm gonna pause this real quick so all right guys so that was pretty much it um like i said too too many books to go through there were jam-packed in there like sardines um between 850 to 860 comic books i had to you know count them um took some time you know this is going to be a project of labor because uh, you know to, to get rid of some of these books I might maybe keep a few if anything um, not really something that really you know caught my interest out of the uh, except for these you know these uh, DC Batman books but uh, I'll show you some of the few highlights and it's gonna be mainly from that new 52 run um, just some cool books you know the combo the combo packs Really cool uh, Capullo covers. Um, some of them are in fairly nice condition. You know, I don't know, maybe it, one or two are worth 
you know, sending out for grading, but I don't think that's even worth grading, to be honest. Um, unless there's some key significance to any of these books. But I do think one of them is, uh, you know, has a significance in the, in the 20s. I'm not sure offhand. Um, no, this book got thrown in there. 35. A bunch of them. This is actually a pretty cool cover. I like that Superman cover. Um, but yeah. Put these aside, going back to the 20s. I think one of these in here is key, but they're all over the place. Uh, I just gotta sort through them all. But um, that's really it. Um, I'll give you about five or 10 seconds just to take a guess on how much I paid. And then I'll, uh, and then I'll tell you, this is actually a pretty cool uh, Jason Favic cover. But uh, a little lenticular action. But uh, all right, so what did I pay in total? I paid $135 for the entire collection. The small, you know, two long boxes. Um, I don't think I did too bad. Um, so uh, just let me down in the comments below what you think. If you're interested in any of these, I'll uh, sell them really cheap to you. Uh, you know, this is mainly tailored for the readers. Um, so uh, if not, they just really just go on eBay and it's just a waiting game to get rid of them. But uh, I guess that's part of the uh, the fun of uh, buying a small collection that you try to sell for. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, my next video will be a little different, uh, probably be a fun unboxing. So I've been trying to, you know, wait a little bit for that one. But uh, until next time, Mark Spect the Comics, out. Hey everybody, Mark Spect the Comics and I'm back this time. I bought a small comic collection. If you're interested in seeing, what you find me up for? <laughs> this is gonna be like the outtakes. <laughs>